All right, folks, this is Pitching Ace Idiot. We are back playing Criminal Case on Facebook. Case number 33, where we figured out that the groupie sent all the Oliver crazy messages, basically wrote all the songs for him, and got none of the credit. And when she wanted credit, he laughed at her. She killed him. I was slightly right with that. Anyways, guys, congratulations on a job well done, Major Ace. Thanks to you, this murderer will have to face the music. Wah, wah. But don't blow your own horn yet. Your job is not over. Riley Davis has been just been released, and I've already received complaints about him. Apparently, he's causing a fuss at the concert hall. I'll need you to chime in. Check out what the commotion is about and calm him down. Well, I don't know if I'm relieved that King only gave us one seemingly simple thing to do, or if I'm excited he gave us work just before our lunch break. Well, he's the one calling the tune anyways. I'm starving. What do you say we stop by the diner, Ace, and check up on Irma? And we could have lunch while we're there, too. You're such greedy guts. Jones, if only you were as enthusiastic to feed your brain. I'm heading to the comic book shop to get the new Captain Simple issue. You should join me, Ace. Kevin's shop is a real pop culture heaven. He has all the rarest items and newest issues in the most underground series. I'll show you a few things I'm sure you'll love. And Kevin will add his own suggestions, I bet. I bet you he will. Alrighty there. Riley Davis, what the heck are you doing? People have complained about your behavior since you've gone out, and now we find you stomping on one of your own drums. Are you high again? Oh, I wish I was high. At least, I wouldn't have to think about everything. My band leader is dead. He's been killed by one of his own groupies, and his corpse was in my drum. In my own drum kit. How do you think I feel? This morning, I woke up in a darn cell. I have criminal record now. I'm never playing any music again. I love being a drummer, especially my tambourine, but I'm done. Yeah, well, we heard that during the concert. You really like to play the tambourine, even when it sounded rather inappropriate. But this isn't reason to break your drum kit like that. As if I could ever play again after finding Ollie's body inside. I told you, I'm done. I'm never playing on this drum kit again, so I might as well make sure nobody else turns out dead inside it. Are you sure you're sober? Seriously, go sit somewhere around and try to calm down. Major Ace and I will try and salvage what we can before you start regretting what you've done doing. That's right. Alright. What's up? You look great. Hello, Major Ace. It's a pleasure to see you here. Are you coming to eat today? Well, yes, we'll have burgers with fries, please. You seem to be doing fine, Irma. Well, I'm a little frustrated at the moment. I was planning to create a new recipe in my band's honor. I wanted to create a Western Twangs country burger, but I lost the main ingredient for this burger. My secret sauce. I was hoping to test it today, so I brought this jar with me this morning, but I really don't know where it is now. Really? Well, you know Major Ace is the best when it comes to finding things. Maybe we could help you out. I'd love to taste a new burger. That'd be very helpful. I'm too busy with customers to search my sauce jar. The diner is very messy. Please, I'll make my, my, my new burgers if you find it. Ugh. So much talking. Alright, anyways, let's go to Kevin. Hey, Kevin, how are you? I'm here to get the new Captain Simple issue, and I was hoping you'd be able to help me pick something that Major Ace would like to. Well, it'll be my pleasure, but I don't have time right now. I've lost my collector f figurine from the special anniversary issue of Captain Simple. I'm so proud of it. It's the rarest item in the shop. The figurine pictures Captain Simple fighting Ripper Jade. They both wear their classic costumes. Jade is blocking Captain's punch with her scythe. Oh, no, I don't remember that figurine. I love the anniversary comic book, though. You know, Ace, Ripper Jade is the nemesis of Captain Simple. She's an impressive villain. Well, I'm sorry, but if you don't mind, could you help me search the shop? I'm scared someone stole it, but I have to make sure it's not here first. I've never seen Kevin's figurine, but I remember reading about it in his catalog. Maybe we can compare his description with the catalog products. With all the figurines we have around here, it could save us some time. Alright, so... What's that going to be? Is that... The Examine Mystery Figurine. Interesting that we have to do that first. Uh, this would be it. And an S on my chest. Nope, this one. There we go. And... Nope, this one. Nope, this one. Aha! Eventually. I got it. It's the figurine we're looking for. It looks awesome. I hope you'll be able to find it Kevin's copy quickly. I can't wait to see it for real. Let's search the shop. Heck yeah, let's do it. Alright, let's do this. 
Let's focus, let's focus, focus, focus. There it is. Broken tambourine. Where's everything else? Okay, caution sign. Pizza. Gosh, it's been a while since I did this. Sun. Basketball. Gold disc. Coffee. Let's go to ribbon. Machete is up here. Baseball. Manhole. Cane. Pizza. Where the French toast is? Pizza there. And, oh yeah, it actually says coffee. Where? Up here. Okay, well that definitely was not one of my best. Darn, it was a good thing we came here quickly. Riley could have damaged his drum kit worse, but we couldn't prevent him from breaking his, this tambourine he found. I might be, might be changing my tune about him. I thought he was a good-for-nothing junkie, but he could be a good guy if he stopped using drugs. Can you restore a tambourine ace? Ah, you know what? I probably can. I'm a nice guy. Alright, so reading glasses, 3D glasses, french fries, sports bag, corn, hand fan, jars here. It really wasn't that far gone. Anyway, snowflake, cat, cookie. I don't remember the radio being found when I was doing this. There it is. Never mind, it was found. I just didn't see it right away. This jar you found looks a lot like a homemade sauce. Even the label is handwritten, though I can't read much on it with those grease stains. Do you think you can make it clear, Ace? I definitely believe I can. Let's investigate the comic book shop. Let's see, okay, so bowling pin, duck, glasses, pinwheel, handcuffs, air 37. Speaker, umbrella, dice, or fudge. Where are the dice? Oh, they're right here. Hearts, wet floor, figurine. I don't know where the French toast, the figurine is. Oh, there it is back here. Oh, it's not even, like, broken. Are we going to have to, like, ensure that it's uh, the shop owner's? Awesome, this figurine is exactly like I thought. Isn't it magnificent? I don't know how you managed to find it amongst all the other goodies here so quickly. But now that I've we have to examine it closely, do you see any serial number on it? Hey, slim editions always usually have a serial number. Maybe it isn't an official product. If Kevin sells forgeries at the price of licensed products, he could risk his vendor's license. I'm taking this beautiful figurine to my lab to make sure it's authentic. Uh, okay. Oh, that's probably going to take him like 12 hours. Oh, only 3 hours? Cool. Right, let's examine this broken tam tangerine. Tangerine and <laughs> tambourine. Oh, mother of pearl. This is going to be ridiculous. You got to be kidding me. How the French toast am I supposed to do this? Okay, I, I, I think I connected something that I wasn't really planning on doing it. But I think it's helped me big time resolve this. Oh, you know what? This probably goes here, here, here. Not horrible. I've done a heck of a lot worse. We all know that. I'll never get tired of seeing you work your miracles on the most damaged items, Ace. You restore the tambourine we found so well. Anyways, Riley looks calmer. Maybe he's finally done freaking out. Let's give him his tambourine back. Yeah, why not? Alright, let's examine this sauce jar, though. Okay, so it looks like it says Irma's homemade country sauce, and then it has all the ingredients. Irma's homemade country sauce. Blah, 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 blah. That's a very weird mix. I'm not sure we should let Irma make her country burgers after all. I'm not very hungry anymore. Why don't we just leave? We can tell what we didn't find in the jar and avoid a massive food poisoning. 
Fine, stop looking at me like this. Ace will give her the ter that terrible mixture back, but you'll take the burgers first. Heck yeah, I will. I'll always try everything. Alright, anyways, let's go bring him his tangerine back. Are you feeling better now, Riley? We were worried about you, even if I think you don't really deserve it after your behavior during the investigation. I'm sorry about all this. I was, I was sober, and I came back here, and I saw my drum kit, and it suddenly hit me. I freaked out badly because I realized everything was real, and not an hallucination. I really discovered all his body in my drum kit. What a nightmare. Well, I understand, but you know, breaking your instrument wasn't a solution. Here, Major Ace found and restored your tambourine. Oh, that's very nice of you. I really love to play the tambourine. Playing drums is fun, too, but not as much fun. Thank you so much. Here, you can have these goodies, even if our band leader is dead. Hipster haircut, hipster jacket. Whew! Yeah, and by the way, I didn't keep on the stoner type, because he's not a stoner anymore, so he doesn't talk like that. That's my country sauce. You're the best. Ace, thanks to you, the diner's customers will be able to taste my new recipe. Please don't tell anyone the sauce ingredients written on this jar. I want to keep it secret. I don't want the rival diners to reproduce my delicious creation. Now wait here. I'm going to make you the first Western Twang's country burgers of the diner. They're free for you today as a thank you. But you know, Ace, I think I'll just pass. I'm not that hungry. I think chili peppers with chocolate and coconut won't sit well in my stomach, so... Here we go, Western Treasures for the brave officers who defend us. Can you smell that mouthwatering perfume? Trust me, those are the best burgers you'll ever eat. Wow, never mind, they smell delicious. Can I have some onion rings with my burger? Of course, of course. I don't even know why we're shocked that, that Jones does that. Um, but anyways, guys, stay tuned as we finish up, and I wait for this for three hours. And I'll see you guys later. It's been Pitching Ace 88. Over and out. Alright, let's finish off this figurine. Ace, I've done my research and I can confirm that this figurine is a real licensed product. The serial number was actually hidden on Captain Simple's armband, and I checked. It's authentic. I could examine it more closely, and it has been all those little details. The two characters look directly at each other's eyes, so expressive, and Jade seems to have the upper hand, like she does in the comic issue with... Yeah, yeah, sorry I'm babbling, but I'm so jealous, I wish I could keep it. There are only 50 copies of this figurine. The company owning Captain Simple's licensed pre-corp never created any other arch enemies figurine. I know, I know, we have to get back to Kevin, but seriously, being honest sucks sometimes. <laughs> Calm down there, Alex. Alright, what's up, Parker? What's gonna happen, man? Here's your collector's figurine, Kevin. Ace, get Major Ace found in your shop, so you might want to tidy the place up a little bit to avoid such problems. My figurine, thank you so much. This Captain Simple vs. Ripper Jade Anniversary Edition is sold out everywhere else. I would never have been able to replace it. Have you looked at it? There's so much detail. Did you notice that Ripper Jade used using her scythe from the Captain Simple's 587th issue? The scythe blade is just a little bit different than a regular scythe. Absolutely, so many people overlook this. But she has at least five different scythes through the whole Limbo arc. Ironically, Captain Simple only has three different gauntlets in all of the comic series. Ridiculous. I know, right? Here, Major Ace, take this gift voucher as a thank you. You can spend it in any shop in the city. I can advise you some comic books you might like, but you're free to use it for anything. Dang, that's a huge voucher. That's a crap load of money. I'll take it. Alright, well, that's going to wrap up case number 33. Stay tuned, guys, because I'm going to be going to case number 34. This is Pitching Ace 88. Over and out.